Stealing from kids, that's what instructors at a martial arts center say thieves did in northern Colorado. Yeah, they stole a trailer, but it's what is inside that trailer that is so important. The trailer belonged to Thrive Martial Arts, located on Main Street in Windsor. Dylan Thomas not only covers northern Colorado for us, but he lives in Windsor. And Dylan, this theft weighs heavy on so many, especially the little ones. Yeah, those here with Thrive Martial Arts say they're out around twenty to thirty thousand dollars with that stolen trailer being stuffed with competition mats. They say while they would love to have it all back, in the end the thieves can keep the trailer if they give them back the mats because in the end the mats are what are keeping the kids away from competition. It's a huge burden. In the ever-growing town of Windsor. This trailer being gone is affecting martial arts students all through Colorado. The owners of Thrive Martial Arts are feeling beaten down after thieves stole tens of thousands of dollars worth of their property. Recently, Christy Overby's husband went to get their trailer from storage as it was packed with mats like these, which are used for regional martial arts competitions. My husband went to pick up the trailer and the trailer was gone. Police reviewed surveillance. And it looked like a few gentlemen were trying to steal other trailers. But suspects have yet to be publicly identified. It was terrifying because we cannot have a competition without Taekwondo mats. We had about uh, 300 competitors already registered for this event and we had no mats to use. The mats are used throughout Colorado, meaning this impacts more than just the school in Windsor. There's not really insurance on it. They're old, they're very used. Um, I don't think at this point you could get much for them. For Overby, it may be ironic to see thieves steal from an organization that prioritizes teaching children about self-defense, discipline, and respect for their peers. The kids are uh, sad and upset. They don't know if we're gonna have the next one in November. So here's what makes the investigation so difficult. While they noticed that it was stolen within the last couple of weeks, they actually hadn't checked on that trailer in multiple months. So for all they know, this was stolen earlier in the summer. A suspect has yet to be publicly identified right now. In the meantime, those here with the martial arts studio have started an online fundraiser, hoping to replace the mats before that next competition coming up in November. Reporting live in Windsor, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, I'm sure a lot of people will step up to help out. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Dylan is the reporter to contact with story ideas. If you live in Weld or Larimer counties, he is covering your community for you. So call us at 303-863-TIPS or email us through cbscolorado.com.